Now you don't want to be missing this and I covered it in yesterday's trade reviews right here. So I went through yesterday's possible trade setups with the live analysis and I linked all of the live analysis that I made then right here as you can see. Now you don't need too many trades a day. All you need maybe two to three good trades. We managed to catch the top and the bottom that's more than enough. And along the way, we try to get involved where we see some really good indicators that appear. Now we have a quite a major sell off, but we cannot be too bearish bias yet because I mentioned right here on the fifth one, right here at about uh, 320 when this happened right here when we broke through we formed the buying channel especially when we broke through this orange right here that on the 30 minute chart we created a very strong defense zone here yeah, there is a demand zone now that's created here from this very strong wick now, if you notice we are actually still in a buying channel and I highlighted it throughout the entire day. You can see we are still creating lower highs and higher highs. So we are technically still in a buying channel. Now the algorithms are still buying very systematically and you have to recognize that, right? And we want to be seeing some form of weakness and we got that yesterday. But there is a need for confirmation for this. I'm going to show you what to look out for today for that sort of confirmation. Some of the important levels we want to pay attention to when we prepare for our trades today. But firstly, Catalyst event later on, 2 p.m. We are going to have the FOMC meeting minutes. And these are just the release of the minutes from the last FOMC about three weeks ago. Now, what we want to pay attention to, obviously, will be what well, are the tightening plans for the Feds. Now, the next FOMC meeting will not be until 21st of September. And they've always been mentioning how they will be depending on the CPI release. As for them, they are depending on the PCE, but it's the same thing. Uh, they'll be depending on inflation reports and the next inflation report is actually on the 13th of September. So we want to know that within this one month, what plans are they pairing that should be documented inside this meeting minutes, but were not publicly uh, announced during their press conference. So that's something we want to know. Now, as with all Catalyst events, and that's something I've learned in my times back then. I have to know that sometimes these are not events whereby we base off the information to trade. You know, these are more like a rallying points. And everyone knows that because a Catalyst event is coming, we will hide behind uh, some form of event to do some sort of profit taking, for example. So especially with such a bull run like this, um, there is also a possibility that uh, the big money will just make use of this 2 p.m. event right here. And when the time comes and just guise it under the report and do some profit taking, you know, uh, it's coordinated. We do it all together. So that could also happen. So um, I'm not saying it will happen, but it's it's a known tactic to be done like that. But regardless, always remember whenever a catalyst event like this comes in, the volume will certainly spike. And the time before that, uh, there may be some flagging low volume. So we expect some lunchtime quietness before large volume spike at 2 p.m. That's a possible setup. I'm not expecting too much of this uh, FOMC meeting minutes, but you never know. There could be some hidden details that it's uh, inside that we have missed. But more importantly, these are coordinated timings, right? The entire world is waiting for this. So it's a perfect time to be coordinating some uh, possible moves together, right? So. Uh, do, do, do keep that in mind. But regardless, as long as we adhere to structure, we will be quite safe because SPY is a very, very liquid stock. Now, remember what we are trying to do here, firstly, is to establish the trading range, right? We have established here as the bottom of the range at 414. Yesterday I was mentioning, right, the possibility that we have this 432, 431 region that could be the top of the range. And we've always been trying to grab the top of the range. 
as well as a secondary top of the range here and we were thinking this could be maybe uh, 420 or 421 right as long as you can establish a trading range you can trade the structure level by level that's what we should be doing at least for day trading right so we'll see today let's base an assumption on this being the top of the trading range and we need confirmation because the first time since a while we've seen such a large profit taking and defense at this top of the level now we had some very good indicators to provide us with such defense and we also noticed it right during our uh, uh, analysis back then so if you remember gravestone doji at the top of the buying channel and on the five minute it actually formed a tri-star right at the top of the range before this large impending drop right we also saw buying channel so that buying channel is also very useful for us right we needed the confirmation from the break of the buying channel so if you were taking major positions you had to wait at least for a confirmation of buying channel to break and it's not too late right we still had that three points drop over here so very important to have confirmations uh, you want to be looking out for these to take your trades uh, so we noticed that was a very strong defended area here uh, this top doji here this could be the top of the range and that's the first assumption that we want to be making and there are some levels that we need to see defended before this assumption can be confirmed now firstly we take a look at our cues now the cues are a little bit weaker than spy we noticed right now the cues quite simply we want to see this 333 yellow continue to be defended and we will form uh, head and shoulder pattern here now this is a sign that the sellers have started to defend this level and they need to start flagging drain off buyers before they can push down level by level by level now this is systematic profit taking thereafter you see systematic buying you may also want to see systematic profit taking so the first thing you have to pay attention to the queues 330 here now the queues are a little bit tricky because apple is extremely strong and so is tesla because of the stock split so we have to pay particular attention to that spy as well yesterday was boosted by a walmart and a home depot so you see all the consumer staples are going up today with target again and always remember we're just one bad news away uh, from major selling right remember target that happened in may 18th right here single-handedly brought spy down 20 points and that's the power of bad news in this market so we want to be extremely careful with that so for spy similarly we want to be taking a look at this purple 430 now we want to see a possible defense here by the sellers before we start flagging and pushing now so there are a few possible structures today we want to be paying attention to looking out for now if we continue this buying channel here especially when this is very defended area here now we want to see if this big buying channel is first being respected or this area is being respected now very different right if you see this buying channel being respected then we want to see if this um, resistance here forming the possible right shoulder is defended and that will push us down because we'll see an imbalance our buyers are afraid to come in anymore to push further up and that will cement this position as the top of the range now otherwise if this breaks down then we may see a lower high and we will probably see a higher high as well now remember yesterday's video i mentioned how this will be very defended right so this zone will still have some form supply we have not even completely covered it here is up to this purple 430 that exactly formed the top right here now but we still have a very defended zone here because i mentioned how it's easy for the buyers to claim this for 32 to yellow 436 right here but we may not see that today especially when we see the weakness here but if we continue to adhere to the buying channel right we want to see continue to see higher lows higher highs then this top will certainly be challenged today again now just want to just put in perspective and to show you now this buying channel is really aggressive right for the entire week right we have been seeing higher lows higher highs so don't underestimate this buying channel not yet anyway but today maybe the time that we see some resistance here right to prevent a higher high from being created 
So we, firstly, we want to see where the support is. Could the support be at the buying channel here? Or could the support be a flat line here? Now, if it's a flat line, that's good news for the sellers, right? Because we may see some flagging here and push down. Now, we do have two layers that we need to clear, right? The first layer that the sellers may need to flag and clear is above this 429 orange here. So we may see some flagging here between this and this, and this will form the right shoulder and to push us down. So two ways it can push us down. One is like that. Right, the second way is obviously through the buying channel, but with a strong resistance, we see an imbalance like that. Right, the second way that the structure can push us down is once we're below orange here, right, we have another shoulder here that we need to push down. Now, this will be a very strong support level. There will be very strong defense at this level here, right, before we manage to push down. Now, if we do push down here, there's a possibility we will head down to orange. Now. We are very close, not far away from breaking the buying channel now, right? And when we break the buying channel on the daily chart, I always see this, that we break the buying channel on the daily chart, we still can form a possible bull flag, right? And as well as a possible handle for the cup and handle in order to push up. So it's still bullish. We should not be considering two bearish movements now, but that doesn't mean we cannot get involved. Right, we get involved as much as possible, but along the way, we try to find confirmation along the way. So as with all day traders, just trade level by level, range by range, one thing at a time, right? Get into stress-free position and you will be fine. So today, quite straightforward day, right? 2 p.m. or oh, look out for that. Right before that, there may be some chop, right? At the start of the day, we want to see if this resistance will continue to hold and we may form a head and shoulders. And this will mean that this range here will be very protected. And once again, this doji, yeah, this doji, whenever it appears at the top of the range, you must always pay attention, right? So we may form head and shoulder here, subsequently another head and shoulder. So we may form two layers of the head and shoulder in order for the sellers to push down. Uh, push us down below this and in the meantime if we do form a selling channel down and more importantly break through this level here which will indicate that there will no longer be a higher low that we may start flagging out now a flag in a macro structure doesn't mean that it's bearish yet there is weakness but we still want to observe the structure here to see we're actually forming a bull flag to continue to push up so there are many uh, considerations that we need to see right here but otherwise it's quite straightforward right you want to pay attention to this resistance here this must hold you must pay attention to this buying channel here you must pay attention to this zone here above orange and above yellow so this possible calls here here possible puts if we trade under orange then possible puts here below orange here and here between this two yes possible calls we want to see some form of flagging along the way as well let's see if today we form a selling channel to start some profit taking and to give confirmation for what happened yesterday but as of right now it's still a buying channel right we have very strong defense here so not too much bias yet although there is some indications that this could be the top of the range we are still looking for confirmation but we'll trade accordingly like that and always remember right if you see every day's trading plans all you need is two to three good trades not too many right the day before right, all these are analysis throughout the day right the day before if we take a look likewise you just need three four good trades and remember always pay attention to your trading ranges right now right we probably have a top here 431 432 let's see how much this holds we probably have a middle at 424 we want to pay attention to and the bottom at around 414 right so we caught the bottom right that's great here now let's see whether this 424 will hold this is the middle of the range right here right that's where we want to be looking at this could be the top of the range let's see whether this remains the top today we have some confirmation signals that we want to be looking out for some levels we want to see that's remaining to be defended and some structure we want to pay attention to so thank you very much for watching and i will see you closer to opening bell thank you very much